Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog. I'm here with David. I've Hello. just I've just recorded this whole intro and I hadn't pressed record and I'm so annoyed. Anyway, what we're doing today is we're going to do something different. David and I are now officially off from work for Christmas, which I'm so pleased about. And we have decided we're going to go to the Bond Street area in London, which we, we never really go to. We normally always stick around Knightsbridge area, but Bond Street, the Christmas lights look like they're out and they look amazing. And so we want to go and check those out. I also need to go into Selfridges because I'm still on the hunt for a good foundation to replace the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, which I always used to wear. And they've discontinued it. It's dry, like, driven me mad because it was the best colour and it was the best like um, amount of matte. It was like the perfect amount of matte. But there's um, an ambient light by Hourglass Foundation that's come out. And I need. I just want to try the colours as opposed to buying it online because I don't want to buy it and then it's the wrong shade. So we're going to do that. We've got some Christmas presents still to buy and that is the plan. We've arrived, we're in Bond Street. We're in New Bond Street, which turns into Old Bond Street, the further down that you walk. And just behind me, this is Fenix, which is a department store. We might go in and have a look around, but we're going to go and have a look down that way because that's basically where all of the lights are. This is um, a view down Bond Street and that very attractive truck full of junk. If I try and cut that out, there we go. Like That looks a bit better, a bit grainy. But yeah, and right down the end there is Old Bond Street where you've got Chanel and uh, Cartier, brands such as that. This is the window in Fenix. That's a cute bag by Ganny. Pinks, I love pinks, my actual favorite color. Baby mulberry bags. How cute are they? They serve no purpose whatsoever, but I love them. Baby um, Bayswater, is it? And then that one in the middle, I forget the name of that one in the middle. Some of you will be watching going, it's called the blah, blah, blah. But yeah, baby, baby mulberry bags. I think David's gonna go in. That's really nice as well, these two. I really like that patent pink with the baby bag there. That's lovely. Where are you at? That's really nice, isn't it? On camera, it looks like darker than it actually is. Didn't know they did clothes in Mulberry, but they've got some outerwear there and some cute, more cute bags. I do love their bags. I've got one though, and it's not the best quality, but I think I just got a dodgy one, you know that. I think while I'm here, I'm going to check out Fendi because there's a top I wanted to look at that they don't actually have in Harrods, but they have it on Bond Street. So I'm going to cross the road and take a look at it. So I've just come into the fitting room and I'm about to try on this, well, it's actually the same top but it's in two different colours. So there's like grey and then there's this navy with orange. The grey is my preference and it's technically speaking it's actually for skiing um, but it's like a technical fabric and it's the kind of thing that in winter you could actually wear as like a, like a, almost like a base layer or under a jacket or a coat because um, hopefully it's warm enough given that it's for skiing that although it's like a thin fabric it's still warm so I'm going to try this on and this is it on These are those gloves that I got from Luxury Promise back in the summer. I really like them. They're very warm as well. 
Maybe they look a bit odd. I don't know. But with a coat over the top, they look... Um, I quite like how they look. That's Fendi done. Uh, now we're going to carry on walking up the street. Um, maybe have a look in some of the other shops up there. Or definitely the outdoors of them. But the reason why I might not go in is because we need to carry on getting Christmas presents for other people. And that is more important than going and necessarily looking in... Um, stores for myself so that's why we're probably not going to do it but um we're going to carry on walking up the street and just filming as we go look at the decorations outside chanel it looks like a massive necklace i saw this on instagram and at first i thought someone had photoshopped it and now i'm seeing it it's actually real wow looks so good and look if we move along to dior dior being next door how good does dior look as well I think Chanel is winning on this occasion though, that, that is really spectacular. Yeah, Edie used to work in here a long time ago. We're going to carry on walking now and we're going to head up the street to the Burlington Arcade and then on to Hamley's because we've got some kids in the family and we need to buy them toys for Christmas. This is the Burlington Arcade and it's so busy in here today. It goes all the way down to uh, Piccadilly and the shops in here are really cute like little Victorian shops and it's really good if you want to go to get uh, vintage or antique jewellery. There's loads of stuff you can get. I'll film some of the shops further down um, are better than this, actually. If you want, like, necklaces or rings or anything. And then out that side, that's kind of like the um, Bond Street area. Wow, now that is a diamond. Hang on, it can't be. Look at the price. That's not real. 2,500, that's not real. Looks good though. This is the place to go if you want antique, uh, vintage, like secondhand jewelry. There's so much to choose from. They also have some Cartier pieces here and love bracelets. Look at the back there. These are my favourite rubies that they've got down the bottom. Those earrings at the bottom there are actually really nice. They're lovely. Those ones. Really nice. And see, look, there's another place here as well. They're not, they're not terrible prices, no, they're pretty good. There's some canaries there, I don't know if they're hollowed out there. This is another shop we found and there's some more Cartier there. Love bracelet. Or pre-loved, you know. Some down there. This is another one, this is what I'm saying, all the way down here, there's so much. Look at this. Vintage Tiffany, Cartier, Bulgari. This is the place to go if you want to get um, pre-loved, definitely. And this is where you come out, so the Ritz is just down there. But check out Fortnum's, the Christmas decorations. And the front, they've made the windows look like an advent calendar, which looks so nice, like see the numbers on them. You've got to come to Hedden Street, everyone. Um, just off Regent Street. So good for food down here there's like a restaurant there's one here we're gonna go to one called piccolino which is really good italian 
there's the Heaven Street Kitchen there. There's Momo's, which is like a really amazing Moroccan restaurant. Now we're going to head into Hamley's, which is like a really decent toy shop here in uh, London. So for um, one of the uh, nieces and nephews we're buying for, we've seen this remote control bunny and we're well, not remote control I, I just think it like hops along and it says that it twitches its nose and wiggles its ears and uh the person we're buying this for is obsessed with our bunnies and so we thought she might really like this actually what do you think should we keep it carry on walking around yes maybe get that okay that is Hamley's done and wow, it was so busy in there. It was actually quite horrible. Um, we were really excited to, to leave, in honesty. Um, and also, there's like a weird smell in there. Like they pump in the smell of, smell like porridge with syrup on it, mixed with cookies. And it was actually not nice after a while, it was not nice. But we're gonna walk now and we're gonna head to Selfridges. Selfridges, we've arrived. Oh my god, these are amazing. And these, more sparkly bags. So everyone, I got my foundation, found it, and David got some face cream, and um, that's from Fendi from earlier. And I think, are we done? I think we might go home now. Yeah. Hey, I thought I'd come on here and have a catch up with you because the shopping trip that you just watched that happened a couple of days ago now and I wanted to come on and just catch up with you because I'm now on and off. I'm kind of like now off for Christmas. I say on and off because when you run your own business you're never really off fully. You're always like there on emails and stuff and so I am, I'm doing what I said I wouldn't do and I'm dipping in and out of work when I said, do you know what, take the time off. I haven't had a proper weekend in about seven years, I'm not even joking you, but I'm, I'm on and off, but I, I'm trying to make more time to make videos because I enjoy doing this. So this is why this is a bonus Friday video. And I need to start by saying a very happy birthday to Gwenny, and Gwenny's birthday is actually tomorrow. And Gwenny is another YouTuber, and I will link to her channel below. So if you haven't checked her out, go and check her out. She does luxury, she's lovely. Go and go and check her out, she's so nice. And Gwenny, I hope you have a nice birthday. Okay, so what did we end up getting when we were in London? Because you know we went round and we were looking at Mulberry and stuff like that. Truth be told, we were going in shops because it was cold, not because either of us actually wanted anything. And also, you know, while we're in the shops, I was kind of like, well, I'm gonna film while I'm here because why wouldn't you? So we didn't go there looking for anything for ourselves. I did get that top from Fendi that you saw. Um, because we happened to be walking past and I remembered that Bond Street had it uh, but we went there because we needed to buy for three more people and their kids and our family and that's why we went into Hamley's we got that done so now all of the Christmas shopping is now complete I am so pleased I've, I'm fairly early with it this year and I just now feel like I'm kind of off work Christmas presents are done just need to get the food in that's it.
I feel like I'm there now. Well, a couple of things to tell you about. First of all, you know I'm trying to find a good replacement foundation. Well, I think I found it. And it is this Hourglass Ambient Glow Foundation. I went into Selfridges in at the end bit of the video just then and um, they had it and I got colour matched for it it's really good. I've got the colour 8 and it goes on dry and I've got oily skin and I always struggle like this is why I don't wear foundation because it I, it's like pours off my face whereas if I just wear a, a powder it doesn't do that however in the winter I like a bit of color to my skin and that's why I would use a foundation so that's what I'm using that's really good if you were using the Charlotte Tilbury magic foundation which they've discontinued and you're trying to find something else I recommend that equally if you've got oily skin and nothing sticks on your face try this it's really good uh, the other thing I was going to show you now I actually bought this back in November and I forgot to come and show you it's from Prada and it is a puffer jacket. Little cropped off puffer jacket. Show you some views here of what it looks like and how I've been wearing it. And uh, I meant to come and show you this and I completely forgot to be honest, but it's so warm. I really like Prada's puffer jackets. I already have one in black that I bought last year, but I was walking past the concession in Harrods. This was, as I say, several weeks ago now and I saw it like and I love pink and so I went and tried it on and I loved it and that was one thing that I got from from there so that's from Prada um my top by the way this is another thing I wanted to come on here and tell you about before I forget this top looks like Chanel but it's not and I'm doing a video this Sunday so Sunday the 11th of December and in that video, I have got a whole load of stuff that looks Chanel and it's not. And it's things like this. This was like, I think around 65 pounds and it looks like it's a lot more and you, you can buy it globally. So like Australia, the EU, the US, wherever you are globally, Asia, you can um, buy from this brand. This I think was around about 67 pounds. And the great thing is they're giving me a coupon code, but it only lasts for 14 days. And I think I've calculated that it's going to expire on the Christmas Eve. So the 24th of December, like this month. And if you like this, I'll link to it, but don't buy it until Sunday. I'll put the coupon code below, but just remember, it's not going to work until Sunday, the 11th of December. And after Christmas Eve, it's not going to work either. So if you're in, watching in that period of time in between then it should work for you but um check out the video I'm going to do on Sunday because they've got some really nice stuff and I'm just like trying loads of it on in that video so that is everything uh just like quite an informal video and I'm gonna try and put out more videos as I've mentioned so if you see more videos from me that's why come back and watch if you if you're off work as well now or if maybe a lot of people are off next week so if you're off You've got some time on your hands and you want to catch up with some Christmassy stuff, come and check it out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.